Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. Most of you have been asking questions about the cleaner's jobs. By the way, what do you expect as a cleaner if you are going to work in Qatar? Oh, what do you expect as a cleaner if you are going to work in most of these Gulf countries? When I talk about the Gulf countries, people working in Oman, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, UAE, at large. What did you expect? First of all, something that I need to let you know as a cleaner one. Yes, people think of you doing what you call hard tasks, that it is so tiresome. Not everything is not easy for a start when you are starting it, especially if it does not be in your career. You'll find things different. And the cleaning tasks that we have in our countries or back in our home countries, they're not the same tasks that we have here. For example, I'll give you an example. Here you have tasks that involve the use of machines and that is a very good opportunity for you to learn how to use some of these machines. Try and learn, try and learn how to use some of these chemicals. Because you never know, tomorrow or the other day, you may be wishing to set up what you call a cleaning company. You already have the knowledge with you at the back. You know what to do, you know what to expect, you know what to use, you know how to apply it because you already got those skills that you do not even pay for. And something that I need to let you, the cleaning jobs here in Qatar, that you will be given what you call a partial training, what you call an inductional training. For example, if it, your task is going to involve using what you call a machine, let's say for example you're going to use a floor polisher, they will tell you how to do it. They will show you how to use a floor polisher. If it is to mix a given chemical, they will definitely tell you how to use that chemical. And something still I will have to let you, in cleaning jobs or cleaning jobs in Qatar or in the Gulf itself, you don't do all the tasks. For example, if your cleaner is not that you're going to wake up to climb all the walls, clean all the port of the walls, specifically they are always in those cleaning departments or those cleaning companies there are always specific teams that do specific period uh, specific tasks of work for example you're not going to climb up a ladder to go up to clean the glass windows or to clean up the windows on the top of the roof of the building there's a specialized team for that so you expect that your task will be just these small minor tasks that you can complete in each every single day and something that I need to let you, most of the cleaning companies here in the Qatar probably sleep well more even more than the security guards. Most of these cleaning companies have good accommodations compared to security guard companies. That is what I have to let you know. Cleaning companies, you find they are getting day offs. Every week they have a day off. But you may go for a security company which is not good. There is no day off in one way. You will have 30 days off. Okay. And the difference of salary, you may find that it is only maybe a difference of only 100. So there is a lot of opportunities last that you can share in one way or the other. And still something that you have to know that you expect, still something that I need to let you, you expect the salary to be the mini, to be that salary that was put in place by the government. Because remember, if you are working 8 hours for the basic salary is 1000. If you are going to work when the company is not giving you food, then probably you will be working eight hours with 1,300. That will be your basic salary as a cleaner. It is going to be the basic salary as a security guard is going to get. What brings the difference between the cleaner's salary and the security salary at one or other? It will depend on the particular project that you are working in. Let's say, for example, that project, your cleaning project. <coughs> Sorry. Cleaning project your company has is for 12 hours. That means on top of the 8 hours, you have 4 hours of overtime. Yes, your company will pay out the overtime. Security jobs. Most of the projects in security jobs are 12 hours. That means their overtime is calculated with all the amount. But remember, they are not getting day off. Some of them do not get day off. But cleaning, you expect to get day off. That will be another advantage for you. You have time to relax. You have time to, to what we call mental health, which is kind of very important. Then still something that you need to understand is that there is a lot of opportunity for you to upgrade in cleaning. From a supervisor 
to another level from a team leader to a cleaning supervisor manager you have in case you have those papers that can approve of the papers that can recommend you can back you up there's great opportunity which may not be the case with the security companies so what you expect that you expect something that is going to be on your plate to elevate you yourself and make you move in one way or the other. For people who are asking about cleaning jobs in Kampata, and they are not those kind of hard tasks that you are supposed to do. There will be those small hard, there will be those tasks that you can do every day. And once you are get to used to it, then everything is going to move on well. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for subscribing and clicking the notification bell. If you are new to this channel, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. The all subscribers, thumbs up. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. All my viewers, I love you so much. See you again in the next video.